Purdue of Georgia. Senator, very good to have you. Hi, Neil. It seems like the Israelis, sir, if they indeed are uh, the source of this intelligence the president shared with the Russians, are claiming uh, no harm, no foul. Um, what do you make of that? Well, these are great allies. Uh, the people of Israel and the people of America have a lot in common, and they've been a strong ally through the years, as we have. Look, the Secretary of, of uh, State, uh, the National Security Advisor, were in the room with the president. They say none of this really happened the way that the press has reported it. Uh, that's good enough for me. And then we have this confirmation today from, uh, from the Mossad that, uh, that we are still great partners no matter what uh, has come out of this. You know, a, a lot of Republicans said so that they, they don't think that the, the president's intent was bad or awkward or, or, or wrong but that he has got to show a little bit more discretion. And maybe it owes to the fact that he's not a politician by training, not a diplomat by training, uh, that helped get him elected. But as president, he's got to be very, very careful that loose lips, you've heard the argument, sink ships. What do you think? Well, he's an outsider to this process, as I am, Neil. But I will tell you, I give him high marks in the first four months in office. I mean, this is a guy that's re-engaging on the international scene. He's making sure that China and Russia know what American national interests are. He's met with several uh, international leaders, and I, I think that's how high time that we've been uh, that he's doing that. He's also said job one is getting the economy going, and he's, he's as I remember, we did confirm Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. So, uh, a lot's happened in the first four months of this administration. But to that point that I mentioned on on these type of matters, just be careful what you share, especially in this case with the Russians. What do you think? Well, I think this is the biggest job in the in the history of the world, frankly, and and uh, anybody in that job has to grow into it. Look, we had a false step around the Syrian refugee um, uh, import or the, the Syrian refugee issue, but then right behind that, five days later, we had Neil Gorsuch's uh, uh, nomination. True, very so true. this is this is a president that has surprised people time and time again. Is going to continue to do that. Well, something is going on there though, where this does leak out. Now, a lot of Democrats dismiss the leaker thing, but it is a real problem in this administration. I don't know how many were in that room at the time with the, the two top Russian uh, officials. But there couldn't have been that many. So if you look around and count, someone leaked something, right? Well, it's an issue. Look, we take this very seriously in the Senate. We have to treat this classified information very carefully. I know the White House is committed to do the same thing. But again, this is a president that's beginning to reassert the national interests of America. And I think that right. you see the global situation requiring that right now. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. I don't want to break away here, but I, 